Are you trying to lose weight but can't decide between a zero-carb diet and a keto diet? You're not alone. Many people face this dilemma when embarking on their weight loss journey. Both diets have gained significant popularity in recent years, each with its own set of ardent followers and claimed benefits. In this essay, we'll delve into the intricacies of both the zero-carb and keto diets to help you make an informed decision. By understanding the principles, benefits, and downsides of each diet, you can choose the one that aligns best with your weight loss goals and lifestyle. So let's get started on this journey to find out which diet reigns supreme for weight loss. Comparing zero-carb and keto diets is crucial for anyone serious about weight loss. Both diets eliminate or drastically reduce carbohydrate intake, but they do so in different ways. The zero-carb diet aims to eliminate all carbohydrates from your diet. This means no fruits, vegetables, grains, or sugars. On the other hand, the keto diet is more balanced. It allows for a small amount of carbohydrates, focusing instead on high-fat and moderate protein intake. This approach aims to put your body into a state of ketosis, where it burns fat for fuel instead of carbs. By the end of this essay, you'll have a clearer understanding of which diet might be better suited for you. The zero-carb diet is as straightforward as it sounds. It eliminates all forms of carbohydrates from your diet. This means no bread, pasta, fruits, vegetables, or even nuts. The primary focus is on consuming proteins and fats. In a zero-carb diet, meat, fish, eggs, and animal fats become your main sources of nutrition. Dairy is often limited to high-fat options like cheese and butter. The idea is to push your body into a state of constant fat burning by depriving it of carbs. Some people find it difficult to sustain, while others swear by its effectiveness for rapid weight loss. Understanding these aspects is crucial before deciding to embark on this diet. The keto diet, short for ketogenic diet, is a bit more flexible than the zero-carb diet. It focuses on a high-fat, moderate protein and low-carb intake. The goal is to put your body into a state of ketosis. In ketosis, your body burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. This is achieved by drastically reducing your carb intake, usually to about 20 to 50 grams per day. Foods commonly consumed on a keto diet include avocados, nuts, seeds, fatty fish, and oils. Leafy greens and low-carb vegetables are also allowed, unlike in a zero-carb diet. The keto diet also has a significant amount of research backing its effectiveness for weight loss and other health benefits. One of the main differences between zero-carb and keto diets is their approach to carbohydrate intake. While the zero-carb diet aims to eliminate carbs entirely, the keto diet allows for a limited amount. This fundamental difference impacts how each diet affects your body and weight loss journey. The zero-carb diet is highly restrictive, focusing almost exclusively on animal-based foods. In contrast, the keto diet includes a wider range of foods, such as low-carb vegetables, nuts, and seeds, making it more balanced and easier to follow. The zero-carb diet pushes your body into a constant state of fat burning by eliminating carbs. The keto diet, however, aims to achieve the same goal by limiting carbs to a specific amount, inducing ketosis. This makes the keto diet more flexible and potentially easier to sustain long-term. These differences can significantly impact your overall health and well-being. The zero-carb diet has its benefits, particularly for rapid weight loss. By eliminating carbs, your body is forced to burn fat for energy, leading to quick fat loss. This can be motivating for those looking to see immediate results. However, the zero-carb diet also has significant drawbacks. It is highly restrictive, making it difficult to maintain long-term. The lack of variety in food choices can lead to nutritional deficiencies and potential health issues. Additionally, the high intake of animal-based foods can raise concerns about heart health and cholesterol levels. On the other hand, the keto diet offers a more balanced approach. It still promotes weight loss by inducing ketosis but allows for a variety of nutrient-dense foods. This makes it easier to adhere to and provides a more sustainable long-term solution. The inclusion of vegetables and healthy fats can also contribute to better overall health. Despite these challenges, many find the keto diet more manageable and effective for long-term weight loss. When it comes to effectiveness for weight loss, both the zero-carb and keto diets have their merits. The zero-carb diet can lead to rapid initial weight loss due to the elimination of all carbs, pushing your body into a fat-burning state. This can be particularly effective for those looking for quick results. However, the keto diet also promotes weight loss by inducing ketosis, albeit in a more balanced manner. By allowing a small amount of carbs, the keto diet can be easier to maintain, leading to more consistent long-term weight loss. 
Many people find that the keto diet helps control appetite better, reducing cravings, and making it easier to stick to the diet. Energy levels can also vary between the two diets. The zero-carb diet may lead to initial fatigue and low energy as your body adapts to the lack of carbs. Ultimately, the effectiveness of each diet can vary from person to person. One common question is whether the zero-carb or keto diet is more effective for long-term weight loss. While both can lead to significant weight loss, the keto diet is often seen as more sustainable. Its balanced approach allows for a variety of foods, making it easier to stick to in the long run. Another frequently asked question is about the health implications of these diets. The zero-carb diet's focus on animal-based foods can raise concerns about heart health and cholesterol levels. In contrast, the keto diet includes healthy fats and nutrient-dense vegetables, which can contribute to better overall health. People also wonder about the impact of these diets on energy levels and physical performance. The zero-carb diet may lead to initial fatigue, while the keto diet, with its moderate carb intake, can provide more stable energy levels. Lastly, many are curious about the side effects of each diet. Understanding these common questions can help you make a more informed decision about which diet is right for you. Numerous studies have examined the effectiveness of the keto and zero-carb diets for weight loss. Research shows both diets can lead to significant weight loss, but the keto diet often has a slight edge due to its balanced approach. Experts like Dr. Eric Westman and Dr. Stephen Finney advocate for the keto diet, citing its benefits for weight loss and overall health. Proponents of the zero-carb diet, such as Dr. Sean Baker, argue that eliminating all carbs can lead to rapid weight loss. Despite differing opinions, most experts agree both diets can be effective for weight loss when followed correctly. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional before making any drastic changes to your diet. Certain scenarios may make one diet more effective than the other. For instance, if you're looking for rapid weight loss and can handle a highly restrictive diet, the zero-carb diet might be more suitable. Its aggressive approach can lead to quick results, making it ideal for short-term goals. On the other hand, if you prefer a more balanced diet that you can maintain long-term, the keto diet may be a better fit. Its inclusion of a variety of foods makes it easier to stick to, which can lead to more consistent and sustainable weight loss. Those with specific health conditions may also find one diet more beneficial. For example, individuals with certain metabolic disorders might respond better to the zero-carb diet. Conversely, those looking to improve overall health while losing weight may benefit more from the nutrient-dense foods allowed on the keto diet. Ultimately, the choice between the two diets depends on your personal goals, lifestyle, and health considerations. In summary, both the zero-carb and keto diets offer unique approaches to weight loss. The zero-carb diet eliminates all carbohydrates focusing on proteins and fats, leading to rapid weight loss but with potential drawbacks like nutritional deficiencies and sustainability challenges. The keto diet, on the other hand, allows for a limited amount of carbs, focusing on high-fat and moderate protein intake. This approach promotes ketosis and offers a more balanced and sustainable solution for long-term weight loss. It also includes a variety of nutrient-dense foods, contributing to better overall health. Both diets have their pros and cons, and the effectiveness of each can vary from person to person. Ultimately, the best diet for you depends on your weight loss goals, lifestyle, and health considerations. Consulting with a healthcare professional can provide personalized guidance and help you make an informed decision. When choosing between a zero-carb and keto diet, it's essential to consider your weight loss goals. If you're aiming for rapid weight loss and can handle a highly restrictive diet, the zero-carb diet might be the right choice. However, be mindful of potential nutritional deficiencies and the sustainability of this approach. For those seeking a more balanced and long-term solution, the keto diet is likely a better fit. Its inclusion of a variety of foods makes it easier to maintain, and the health benefits of nutrient-dense foods can contribute to overall well-being. This approach is more suitable for those looking to make a lasting lifestyle change. Your lifestyle preferences also play a crucial role. If you enjoy a variety of foods and find it challenging to stick to highly restrictive diets, the keto diet offers more flexibility. Health considerations are equally important. We hope this comprehensive comparison of zero-carb and keto diets has provided you with valuable insights to guide your weight loss journey. Your experiences and opinions matter to us. We encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on health, nutrition, and weight loss. Stay informed, stay healthy, and let's achieve our weight loss goals together.